Let's talk about agent-based monitoring. We often get approached by customers or potential customers who ask us about agentless monitoring. And then we tell them that there is no such thing as agentless monitoring. What they do mean is they don't want to install a piece of software on their servers, but rather monitor them from the outside. Obviously, there are examples where this makes perfect sense. Thinking about network devices, environmental devices, really everything that is not running a typical operating system, where you are simply not able to install a piece of software. For example, SNMP devices or devices that can only be queried through a API. Um, there it's perfectly fine, but still there is an agent because it's a piece of software that's providing the information that you're querying from the system. So there is no agent less at all, but let's focus on the example of the servers or typical operating systems like Linux, Windows, Unix, and Solaris, um, because there it is possible to install an agent or some piece of software. Um, and oftentimes it's just requirements of uh, security departments or similar that don't want to install software on the servers. So what is agent-based monitoring actually? Well, agent-based simply means you install a piece of software on an operating system that then goes ahead and collects all the information relevant for the monitoring system, and then it can be queried from the monitoring system to be processed and um, depicted on the monitoring server. Disadvantages of this approach obviously are that you have to maintain the agent somehow. You have to make sure that they are up to date from a software version point of view. You have to make sure they are configured properly and have the right plugins, for example, and the right configuration. So they are able to query all the information on the system, for example, from a database that's installed on the system, um, or maybe from a mail server, file server, stuff like that, um, where you want to have all the relevant information. And that's obviously a task that you have to take care of, to least at a certain extent, to make sure that that works properly. The advantages are numerous, on the other hand. So, for example, agents are easily extensible. You can add plugins, configuration, you can add custom scripts, for example, that do something that no um, plugin can do. Um, you can modify the agent, for example, to do something that you need done. Um, and you're very flexible in what the agent can do, as opposed to, for example, SNMP, where you have defined values and endpoints that you get, which you cannot change. The next part is thinking about security. Um, a agent installed on an operating system acts completely locally. That means it's querying local APIs without leaving the system. There is no communication through the network, apart from the monitoring server querying the agent, actually. Um, and you're talking to all the interfaces locally um, without authentication or with some form of authentication, but you don't have to worry about credentials being sent over the network, for example. And the last thing is that agents are typically very efficient and very lightweight, so they don't have an impact on the performance of the system you're monitoring, while still fetching a lot of information and data to provide to the monitoring server to enable you to have all the insights that you need there. With the CheckMK agent, which is 100% open source, you have the possibility to, re to review the code line by line and create confidence that the agent only performs action that you expect it to do. Additionally, you get quite some features with the CheckMK agent. It's easily extensible with plugins to monitor different applications on your servers or different aspects on specialized servers. It's very lightweight, very efficient. It has little to zero impact on the resources of your server. And it has the ability to discover services on the system, which means it fetches all the information it can and gives it to the CheckMK server for you to display. Additionally, we have the CheckMK Agent Bakery, which enables you to create tailored agents for your monitored systems so all the configuration, all the plugins that you need are in the installation package when you install it on your host. Additionally to that, we also have automatic agent updates, which means that the agent queries the CheckMK server for updates. And if there is an update, it will download these updates and update itself. So the agent is always up to date, both version-wise and configuration-wise.
If you want to learn more about the bakery, we have a video in the video description which explains this feature in more depth. Lastly, talking about security, the agent does not allow any input from the outside. You cannot send any commands to the agent. Um, even if you send data to the agent, it will simply disregard it. There is no line of code that is handling input data. Additionally, we provide TLS encryption, which enables you to encrypt the connection between the CheckMK server and the agent, so nobody can look into the monitoring data that is transferred. And with that feature, we also have a whitelist, which means that only the CheckMK servers that the agent know can query the agent. If there is an arbitrary IP address querying the agent, it will simply not provide any output. With that, I'm concluding today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to never miss another video, and I will see you around.